everybody it's me andrew get out into nature and tune in for yourself resonate with the earth's electromagnetic field via 432 hertz the universal frequency balance out psychologically and emotionally and further strengthen your brain and your heart's coherence as well get a plant-based diet going for yourselves today and nurture yourself right back into life we are literally herbivores in our nature further balance out your physical body's ph level and get with alkalinity then you can generate some static electricity send me some love telepathically set attention to your mind and set intention to communicate that is all there is to telepathy you are now tuning in to great days so uh, i'm going to talk on uh, not taking life so seriously and enlightenment today okay or uh, this evening so um I guess enjoy what I have to talk on. Okay, uh, not taking life so seriously and enlightenment. Okay, and what enlightenment is, uh, maybe for people who don't know, or uh, maybe to simplify what it is, um, and, and natural state of it, uh, enlightenment, and even uh, how this can lead to not taking life so seriously. So let's get right into this. Um, so I guess enlightenment, we can start. Enlightenment is pretty much, um, it is pretty much translating to light of mind. Okay, uh, enlightenment, they uh, pretty much see it as whenever you uh, come to uh, open the light within yourself. Okay, uh, you come to wake up. Okay, you come uh, have an awakening experience. Okay, um, and and uh coming to have an awakening um is very very changing because it completely changes the world uh as you um experience it okay uh it completely changes everything that you have ever experienced about the world up until your enlightenment up until your enlightenment okay uh, and and very simply if you take the word enlightenment it's enlightenment enlightenment you know um there's pretty much enlighten and mint. Mint is uh, mental, uh, so mind and and light. You know, uh, in light, in mint. So in light, in mind is pretty much what what it translates to. So there's light within mind. You know, and this is why uh, you can pretty much see in some of the older. Um, the older illustrations of uh, holistic beings or holy beings or enlightened beings, they have the halo around their heads and it's pretty much all the time um, a white light, you know, emanating from their heads. Okay, this is what the halo is. Some portray it as like a, a, a loop around the head or a ring around the head, but others portray it as a, a ring around the head you know because it's a ring around the head uh either way you look at it um and and this is that light okay this is that light in mind so uh enlightenment is uh coming to um illuminate oneself okay uh out of uh the darkness which is unconsciousness okay uh, the underworld or unconsciousness uh living um within unconsciousness is pretty much living within darkness Okay, uh, and you can bring, uh, you come into a state of enlightenment by um, illuminating oneself from within. Okay, and uh, this involves uh, rising the kundalini energy up from the base of the spine up to the higher chakras. Um, but this takes uh, a little bit of practice. You know, it is natural because uh, all beings have kundalini energy because it is literally our sexual creative energy or life energy and all beings have kundalini energy, you know, uh, and, and, and all uh, creatures or beings use this kundalini energy in their day to day, you know, for, for doing things like playing or uh, doing things like hunting or doing things like gathering, uh, climbing trees, flying, you know, all, all of these creatures are using kundalini energy to do what they're doing, you know, um, so it's this natural of an energy we all have it, you know. And and to be to come into enlightenment, you need to rise that kundalini energy up the spine consciously, um, or it can happen unconsciously. To uh, 
into the higher chakras usually it's going to be up here uh maybe at the ajna the third eye or even the crown it's pretty much going to be the third eye you know um but once you get the kundalini energy up there uh there's going to be um you can have a very you can have a very very transcendental experience okay and and this transcendental experience is what is going to allow for enlightenment okay uh but it is very natural for everybody okay uh everybody can easily have a state or uh, an experience of becoming enlightened all right um it just all depends on that individual person and and uh and and how their uh, journey is unfolding for them you know uh most definitely arise in enlightened beings though on the earth right now because there is an ascension and there is uh, the kundalini energy of the earth is rising so the inhabitants which is us are also rising in kundalini energy um and this is obvious you can obviously see this with with the uh the ascension taking place you know in in the mass so uh naturally there's a shift in enlightened beings okay um and enlightenment is is very much needed because it is um it is literally uh expansion of consciousness it is expansion of understanding and it is expansion of knowledge is um which are all one and the same knowledge understanding and and consciousness are all one and the same okay they're just different dimensions um and and enlightenment once you have uh once you come into an enlightenment then life stops being so serious because you uh start to see beyond maya okay maya is pretty much translates to um illusion or magic in sanskrit okay uh and and they call the hindus call the world maya because the world is literally just uh, an illusion or it is just uh, a magic trick or a magic show you know the cosmic drama so so um so once you become uh enlightened or once you have uh, your experience that brings enlightenment to you you are able to see beyond uh maya and uh you are able to see that that everything is energy and you're able to go beyond the illusion of things you know because you've lifted the veil and you are able to um emanate that light from within yourself okay um then you are able to uh um, maybe uh r- relieve yourself a bit of of taking life so seriously you know and this is where uh you can actually start living um i guess a little bit more saturatedly or or uh, a little bit more deeper you know because uh when you were when before you have an enlightenment or before you become enlightened life can be very very superficial it can be trivial and it can be uh stagnate uh, stagnated you know and and everything seems just like very very uh dull and 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 it just is a drag you know but but once you come to uh be enlightened it's very very uh i guess you can say it is um all of all of the experience changes you know it's the same thing but but there's a a complete expansion of dimension so you start understanding um higher you know of higher math or of higher knowledge and uh and and this completely makes way for for a, a completely different um experience you know even though it's the same everything is completely the same but it's also very very different as well you know uh things most definitely change life starts becoming more of a dream you know uh because this is the nature of life um and you go you are able to go deeper and deeper into this dream you know um it's not real at all it's not real at all it's a dream okay um I don't know if science has has done has gotten to that point but I know um uh, there's plenty of of scribings on the fact that life is a dream you know um 
and and, and the realization uh, you can go deeper and deeper into it. You know, it's like going into the rabbit hole. Um, that is enlightenment. You know, you get to go deeper and deeper into this a uh, after you become enlightened. And uh, it's like you, you pretty much die in a way, you know, because uh, you, you come to a death and uh, you're, kind of, you're kind of born anew, you know, very much so you're born anew. Uh, and, and everything that you were taking seriously beforehand, before you had this experience of death, and and uh, transformation and even enlightenment because of it, liberation, whatever it may be, uh, you are then able to uh, see life as what it is, you know, through the illusion that is not real. It's just a fluctuation of energy. And the more deeper you go into the rabbit hole of things, it starts to uh, expose itself more and more for what it is, which is nothing because life doesn't actually exist and we don't actually exist. Um, and this is void, or this is a uh, zero dimension. This is relativelessness. This is non-existence. For existence, there needs to be non-existence um, to to um, to come from. You know, so so uh, because there is an existence, there is non-existence. You know, and and within this non-existence, um, or or because there's a non-existence or, or there's non-existence um, or, or dimensionlessness, then um, we actually don't exist because of that. You know, it's, it's, a deeper, it's a deeper paradox and you can't really touch upon it too much because uh, it, it is, you can't really speak of it, you know, because um, you're trying to grasp something that does not exist uh, so you can't say anything about it because it does not exist, you know, uh, and that, and this is where all emanates from. This is where the absolute emanates from. This is where God emanates from. Uh, this is where, um, existence emanates from. So you can, um, you can talk about existence. You can talk about God. You can talk about, uh, something, but you cannot say anything about nothing because it's nothing. It's no thing. It does not exist. You know, so uh, you cannot grasp it, all right? Uh, but because there is this or there is not this, then uh, you can um, you can then start uh, going deeper into, uh, I guess, the rabbit hole at that point, you know, and, and life then uh, is opening itself to you as a dream uh, in its nature, you know, and you can, you can definitely go into this if further if you would like all you got to do is ask you know ask uh, the universe or ask God it doesn't um, matter just ask and uh, it's unconditional in love you know uh, it's a higher mind um, ask it you know it's like talking to imaginary friends uh, children do this because they are of a, of a higher mind you know children have their pineal open so they're able to conceive or they're able to uh, connect with the universe more than adults can, you know, and this is why children are, you find them talking to imaginary friends because uh, they have that connection with God. You know, whenever you're praying, you can say you're talking to an imaginary friend, you know, it's God, okay? This is what children are already doing. Uh, it's just connection with God, connection with the universe, connection with the higher mind, um, source. Okay, and uh, you can ask, you can talk to it, and it'll talk to you back. You know, um, you can literally ask it anything, and, and, and you get an answer straight up. You know, it's not like, it doesn't really sugarcoat or do anything like this. It's going to give you truth. Um, as much, I, I want to say, as your, as your physical being or your being can handle you know, um, at the, at that moment, but then it can, you know, help you out later on. But, um, I mean, that's pretty much going to be it for today's video. That's a little bit on enlightenment, simplifying what it means at the very simple, uh, the simplest meaning of enlightenment is, uh, light in mind. Okay. So having light in mind, light is consciousness, 
awareness, um, holding awareness, having uh, consciousness, you know, is what enlightenment is, is what enlightenment is, and um, being of a higher consciousness or having consciousness uh, is immediately uh, able to relieve you from taking life so seriously, you know, um, at least absolutely seriously. Okay, it allows you to, to uh, maybe relieve yourself a little bit from the uh, show of things, you know, and, and uh, have a little bit of fun, you know, more like a child um, rather than an adult depressed in a cycle of um, unprogression, you know. But that's going to be it for today's video. Once again, I uh, do thank everybody for watching. That's going to be it. Peace out, have a great evening, and one love.